Hello everyone, this is chapter 9, part 4. Without further ado, we are going to get started. In this part, we'll talk about long-run total costs. And we will be talking about basically long-run cost in general, but the first one is total cost, then marginal cost, and also average cost. We will talk all about these. Long-run total cost for a given level of output is given by, right, LTC equals W. L star and R K star. So L star and K star are the optimal uh, cost minimizing input combinations. So W and R, the prices of labor and capital, we already know this, and L star and K star is the input combination on the expansion path that minimizes the total cost of producing that output. So these are not random numbers. L stars and K stars, they are these optimal numbers, okay? So if we look at our expansion path, where did we get those K stars and L stars? There you go. For instance, to produce 100 units, the best level of input combination is 10 units of labor, 7 units of capital, which gives you the least costly way of producing 100 units. 200 units, least costly way of producing this requires 12 workers, laborers, and eight uh, units of capital. The least costly way of producing 300 units is at this point, requires 20 workers and 10 units of capital. Let's talk about long run average costs. Long run average costs, very simple, just like the short run, right? You grab the long run total cost divided by quantity, that's it. Long run average cost measures the cost per unit of output when production can be adjusted so that the optimal amount of each imp imp input is employed. Okay? Long run average cost curve, just like the short run average cost curve, is U shaped. Falling long run average cost uh, is what we call ec uh, exhibits economies of scale. Rising long run average cost indicates these economies of scale. These are very fun topics. I love teaching it. So long run average cost curve, right? Boom. Long run average cost. This is quantity. So here you have economies of scale. In this region, when it starts going up, this economies of scale, this is the constant returns to scale. And this point where economies of scale right here is exhausted will be minimum efficient scale. But that's coming up. All right, so long run average cost is long run total cost divided by quantity, just like the short run cost. Long run marginal cost. Long run marginal cost, LMC measures the rate of change in long run total cost as output changes along the expansion path. Formula is similar to, exactly similar to the short run marginal cost. Long run marginal cost is also U shape, that J U shape. Long run marginal cost lies below long run average cost when long run average cost is falling, just like in the short run. And long run marginal cost lies above long run average cost when it is rising. Okay, so on an average, uh, costs are less than sorry, uh, the additional cost marginal cost is less than the average cost, then average cost is gonna fall. Additional cost is above larger so the last unit is costing me more than the average cost of producing so far therefore the average cost is going to go up okay long run marginal cost and average cost are equal to each other at the minimum value of long run average cost curve just like in the short run i keep saying that long run marginal cost is the change in long run total cost divided by quantity change in quantity so we can actually work on this table it is your job to work on this. So I will tell you to pause this video at some point and please pause it when the time comes and for sure work on it on your own. But I'm going to give you some details. This is a derivation of long run cost schedule. So if we're going to imagine wage rate is $5 per hour uh, and the rental rate of capital is $10. So if you hire zero workers, zero capital, you produce nothing cost is zero okay this is we can calculate these obviously so when you hire 10 workers and 10 capital so i need to calculate long run total cost first where is the formula i'm going back to the formula 
long run total cost wl plus rk sorry i'm going real fast all right long run total cost so 5 l plus 10 k okay so 5 times 10 you can do this 5 times 10 plus 7 times 10 what is it 120 um we keep calc so i'm gonna do two lines you do the rest okay all right 12 times 5 what is it um 60 plus 8 times 10 80 140 i hope it's correct 12 times 5 yes 80 60 80 140 it should be correct okay if i'm wrong we'll figure it out so long run average cost very easy long run average cost is long run total cost divided by quantity so i'm going to find all this column and divide it by quantity 120 divided by 100 so that's going to be one dollar 20 cents 140 divided by 200 i believe that's going to be 70 cents okay we'll check that if it's wrong then i'm wrong i'm going to accept my mistake next long run marginal cost so we can calculate change in total cost right 0 to 120 so 120 minus zero dollars divided by change in quantity 100 minus zero okay so this is going to be 1.2 let's find the long run marginal cost for here total long run total cost changes from 120 to 140 right and that's a 20 increase right 140 minus 120 20 divided by 200 current output level minus previous 100 so 20 divided by 100 that is going to be 0 0.2 marginal cost so producing one last unit here one more unit is only 20 cents for the 200 unit for the 100 unit it was 1.2 so continue this table and it's given here so thankfully i got these numbers right i got these numbers right folks that's good okay that's let me double check yep i got them right so far so complete this table and if you draw these curves okay what you'll find is long run total cost increases it increases at a slower rate then it's going to increase at a little faster rate and long run average cost curve boom u-shaped long run marginal cost curve jsu shaped prettier graphs you know we are used to this long run average cost again quantity and this is dollars this is the costs right long run average cost and you got long run marginal cost cuts through the lowest point so before part five i'm actually going to show you how to do this in excel the same numbers right because we won't always um as a you know managers you will be sitting down with your uh, engineers production engineers and they won't have just numbers on paper right in excel you may have to work this out yourself so here's zero i'm just going to put dash that oops enter little dash enter okay so long run total cost you write down the formula right grab the five dollars times right number of labor employed i highly recommend using parentheses and let's see if it works another parentheses grab this times boom close the parentheses let's see it did calculate so you're going to go to this right bottom corner double click okay let's see what happened here value value <laughs> what happened uh let's see i'm just gonna put five here is it the problem nope so oh i'll tell you what happened so this is a mistake many people will make you want to lock these formulas right you're telling the formula grab b1 multiply with uh, a5 grab b2 multiply with b3 
uh, 5. So, sorry, grab B2, multiply with A5. Grab B2, multiply with uh, B5, right? However, when you pull this formula down, everything will change. It will move down one cell, right? So, to prevent that, this is a trick. If you put dollar signs for the cell you want fixed so i want every single cell to grab actually these two values i don't want it to move down right boom now it will calculate correctly and it will always have these b1 and b2 fixed so never forget that oops okay enter all right long run average cost equals right long run total cost divided by quantity boom okay boom you got this and then long run marginal cost okay we are going to open a parenthesis change in uh, long run total cost divided by change in quantity so how does it work total cost producing 100 units minus total cost producing zero units and divided by 100 minus zero so for this we don't need to fix anything boom it's ready to so how can we graph how can we get these how can we get these pretty graphs right here it's very easy i'm going to grab everything is against quantity right i'm going to grab quantity and ltc i'm going to go to insert we're going to go to charts area in the charts area you're going to you can grab this one or whichever you prefer. This is just numbers. This is more uh, curve. This is uh, s stronger lines, if you will. So long run total cost curve. Cool. Let's also get the marginal and average cost curve. So we are done with this. Then I'm going to grab this. I am hitting control. If you have a Mac computer, you can also hit command and select okay so we selected all these then we're going to insert charts grab this one scatter grab this one okay so check this out we got it okay here we are you have marginal cost curve orange average cost curve and the solutions were here too i did it before so that's it this is part four i'll see you on part five in a second